Hello and welcome to this AutoPipe Quick Start Training on Modeling Piping Geometry. In this course, we will go through setting up program configurations, creating a new model, creating piping geometry, reviewing a piping model, creating a basic static analysis set, and reviewing analysis results. First, let's look at setting up program configurations. AutoPipe was developed to meet the needs of companies involved in industrial piping system design, and it utilizes Windows standard commands, object-oriented graphics technology, and CAD interfaces to enable users to create, modify, and review piping and structural models and their results quickly and easily. A graphical representation of the model is displayed as it's being developed, providing instant visual feedback. AutoPipe performs extensive error checking as the data is being entered and alerts the user if the model does not comply with the regulatory standards of piping design. Using AutoPipe's object-oriented graphical select options, users can insert, delete, or modify pipe properties, supports, or offsets across an entire range of points with one command. Graphical selection of ranges can also be used for cut, copy, and paste operations. We can get started by launching AutoPipe from either the shortcut on the desktop or the start menu. The Welcome to AutoPipe licensing dialog box will pop up when the program is opened. This allows you to select the appropriate addition to be used. Once the addition is chosen, the main AutoPipe dialog will show what addition you are using up in the top of the screen. If that shows demo, the license configuration needs to be set up. The license can be configured by opening the license management tool dialog box and plugging in the correct server name and site activation key. The Connect Advisor can be accessed by clicking on Help Connect Advisor. The Connect Advisor is a desktop application which provides a unified interface for you to interact with various Bentley content in one location. It gives you the ability to search within all of the available sources, such as Bentley Communities, Bentley Learn Server, Bentley YouTube Channels, Bentley News and Announcements, Bentley Events, and Product Help. And it enables you to filter this information. The AutoPipe interface is designed to simplify the task of creating, modifying, and reviewing models of any complexity. It consists of a quick access toolbar, a ribbon, a command line, a status bar, and optional toolbars as shown here. All of the AutoPipe commands can be accessed from the individual ribbon tabs. For a detailed description of the capabilities and functionality of a specific tab, please refer to the AutoPipe help. Each of these tabs has toolbars associated with it. Roll the mouse wheel up to scroll the individual ribbons to the left and roll the mouse wheel down to scroll the individual ribbons to the right. If you forget the use of a particular toolbar button, position your cursor over that particular button and wait about a second. A tooltip description is displayed beneath the button. The quick access toolbar provides shortcuts to frequently used commands. This toolbar can be customized to accommodate a user's preference. A number of autopipe commands can be accessed directly from the keyboard using hotkeys. These are executed by holding down control and then pressing a letter key or using a function key. The hotkeys are displayed in the tooltip description of each command. AutoPipe also offers keyboard equivalents for the pull-down menus and navigating through the dialog boxes. The pull-down keyboard equivalent is shown by an underlined letter. For more information, please click on Help and Contents. Pressing the Search button displays the command search utility, which enables the user to locate and execute any ribbon command. If you type a few letters of a command in the search field, the command search utility will automatically filter the commands to match that value. Once the command has been located, click on the command to execute the command or hover over the command and press enter. The AutoPipe input grids contain input spreadsheets with data of the model's properties for viewing and editing. These grids are dynamic with the graphic and vice versa such that selections and modifications to the graphic are updated immediately in the relevant grids. Most of the menu and graphic functions can be performed within these input grids. 
From the desktop, open Bentley AutoPipe Connect by double-clicking on the desktop icon. Once AutoPipe is open, you will see the Welcome to AutoPipe Licensing dialog box. In this dialog box, you will need to select from the Standard Advanced and Nuclear Edition, depending on the version you have. Then click OK. On the top of the AutoPipe screen, you should see either Bentley AutoPipe Standard, Bentley AutoPipe Advanced, or Bentley AutoPipe Nuclear. If you see one of these, the license is set up correctly. If the window reads Bentley AutoPipe Demo, this means that the license is not set up correctly and needs to be set up. We can set up this license by clicking on the Management Tool button on the file ribbon. Click OK in the Warning dialog box, and in the License Management Tool dialog box, click Tools, Options. Enter in the correct server name and site activation key, and then click Test Connection. Once the select server and activation key have been verified, click OK. Click OK in the License Management Tool dialog box, and close out of the next License Management Tool dialog box. We now see the AutoPipe interface. It consists of ribbons and toolbars, and these can be added, hidden, and modified by the user. If you forget the use of a particular toolbar button, remember that positioning your cursor over that button and waiting a second will bring up the tooltip description. We can access the Connect Advisor by clicking on the Help ribbon and the Connect Advisor button. Remember that the Connect Advisor is a desktop application that provides a unified interface for you to interact with various Bentley content all in one location. In the next exercise, we will begin to create a new model. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.